Hello, hello, and welcome to episode one of the Reverse Dealer uh, TV. Chris, this is your baby. Yes, hello, hello. Uh, Chris, basically, let's do a quick intro of who Chris is. Chris Schultz and Schellenberger. Schellenberger. <laughs> Schell- no one gets it. Uh, is a family, is a farm boy turned industry dis- uh, disrupting, disrupting even, entrepreneur. The mission of his current business, Reverse Dealer is to completely revolutionize the entire auto industry all at once and at, at its core. Um, in its first 18 months, Reverse the Dealer has sold over 5 million worth of vehicles in a down economy. Uh, and by saving uh, each client an average of $2,500 per vehicle and an additional $1.5 million back into local Red Deerian's hands. There's three very important traits to Chris. He is uh, in both business and in his personal life, and those are integrity, gratitude, persistence. Uh, he continues to study the top business minds of the world, and he is very active on social media, plus plans on expanding reverse dealer to the entire world, uh, or at least North America, and then beyond. Yeah, why not? So Chris, let's start off real quick, quick question for you here. Sure. How did you come up with the idea of reverse dealer? Um, how I came up with the idea was I've been in the car industry for about 10 years and I've quit the industry two separate times and I just didn't like how the, um, a few things happened in dealerships. I didn't like the back end workings, the behind the scenes things. So, and one part I really hated about this and you guys might attest to this. If you've ever been to a dealership and tried to trade in a vehicle, um, even as the salesperson giving the number, Giving that trade-in price to the client, the, it is the worst feeling in the world. We know it's a terrible number. You know it's a ter- terrible number. and You're basically I, saying you're not getting the value of your vehicle. Absolutely. And I wanted to come up with a new concept that put the customer first and put the money back into the client's uh, pocket because they're the people who own the vehicle. So I tried to come up with this new concept that literally that's the way it was designed was to put the money back into the seller's hands. A win-win-win kind of thing is exactly. what that, we got going on yeah, down that's here. The, the entire concept is a win-win-win. So we want everybody to win because that's that's the best deal when everybody wins, not just the dealership. So my question for you then, Chris, yeah. is where did the name reverse dealer come from? The name, um, actually it started off as, the first name was P2P Dealer. It was supposed to be a peer-to-peer concept. I wanted to set up locations across um, North America to help uh, local people sell their vehicles for them. Uh, but P2P Dealer wasn't a very good name. so I Well, it didn't really explain itself, right? Yeah. It, P2P is like peer-to-peer. That's kind of what it is. People of our generation would understand that, but someone of an older generation might have... Hard yeah. trouble with understanding. Or reverse, yeah. it kind of makes itself exactly. known. I, I tried to come up with, and then I couldn't figure the name, so I just went and started looking at logos. What could I do for a logo? And then I found the reverse button, and I figured that reverse button is, is prominent. It's all over the place. People see it all the time. So I wanted to try to brand that reverse button, and then I right. said, why not use that reverse button as the name? So reverse dealer, we're the opposite of every other dealer. And that's what that reverse I think reverse is. dealer sounds a lot better than opposite dealer. Yeah. And then, that, yeah, actually opposite dealer was Opposite actually, dealer sounds terrible. Yeah. yeah that's, that's was one of the potential names, but. It, but it, you went it, with it, reverse it, dealer it for a, with cut. a good reason, eh? Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. Um, besides that, is there anything else that someone needs to know about reverse dealer that makes you different from other dealerships? Uh, every single thing about reverse dealer is different. Um, and there are there are positive dealerships out there, but we literally we built it into the DNA of the company to be a positive, uplifting, um, just a huge force that people want to get behind. And a lot of the stuff we do, like every single morning, we're very active on social media. Oh um, yeah, um, we do a lot of things. We do a, po- a quote every morning or a mo- motivational video every morning. Right, and then we do some motivational stuff throughout the day. But at the end of every day, we do a good night quote. It's just something positive to start the day, something to positive to end the day, and it, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't help sell cars, but it helps get the positive message out there, and we want to be the change. Now, I know you say you're very active on social media. Yes. I, I bet I'm only able to guess you've got your Twitter. Yeah. You're on Facebook. Yes. I've seen Snapchat. Yeah. Where Snapchat's else are you? New. Um, we're on Instagram. Yeah, so Instagram, Snapchat. We're still fairly new on that, but that I, I really like I think you're like killing that. it there. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um Facebook, uh, Google Plus. What else are we on? 
Uh, and there's a couple. Those more, are the really important yeah, ones. Yeah, the, the, For a card dealer, I don't think. I mean, you could do Pinterest. Yeah. But yeah, man, yeah. we could. Man. <laughs> Still learning um, that one. I think uh, I think right now would be a good time. We're going to talk about uh, in a little bit here about what was it? Gross income. Gross gross profit. Gross profit. Yeah. Basically income. We're gonna we're gonna yeah. learn a bit, bit more yeah. about that coming down the pipe here. If you are joining us on Facebook right now, please 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 pop a question into the comments. Say hi. Talk to us. We're here. We're live, and we're here for you. We're going to be going to a quick little break right now, and then we'll be back talking about gross profit. Uh, and then answering any questions if you might have them. Rich here, and right now we're in a 2011 Ram Outdoorsman, and I'm gonna give you three reasons why this is a great truck. One, on the bulletproof bumper, there's an inspirational quote. If you can't dodge it, ram it. Number two, is there's a box liner, so it makes it great for work or fun. And number three, is it comes equipped with power step running boards, so it makes it easy to get in and out of. Rich here, and right now we're in a 2013 Power Wagon. I'm gonna give you three reasons why this is a great 4x4. Number one is the selectable sway bar, allowing you to customize your 4x4 in experience. Number two is the steel bumpers, great for bumping into stuff in the woods. And number three, it has a power winch, great for getting you out of sticky situation. Rich here, and right now we're in a 2014 Chev Z71. I'm gonna give you three reasons why this is a great off-road truck. Number one, there's a box liner, so Ace, of course, loves it. Number two is the sharp looking leather interior, the red and black. And number three is the Bluetooth connectivity, so you can call your friends and family and tell them about your awesome truck. Rich here, and right now we're in a 2009 Pontiac G6, and I'm gonna give you three reasons why this is a great car. Number one, it has six cylinders, which produce 297 foot-pounds of torque, so when you step on the gas, it answers back. Number two, this car is so cool, the Far East movement wrote a song about it. And number three, it's a cool looking car, which is gonna give you a pride of ownership. Chris, we're back. Woo. Um, Chris, now we're gonna talk a little bit about gross profit. Yeah, gross profit. Or income. Gross profit. I have profit? Yeah. So income explain to the dealers. So explain to me what the gross profit is. Okay, so uh, the easiest way to explain gross profit is um, when closer, you, you sell your vehicle. So, or trade your vehicle into a dealership. So say you're bringing your vehicle into a dealership to trade in, the number they pay for the car, the number they give you as a trade in, versus the number that they turn around and sell that for, that the gap in the middle is called gross profit. And that's, that's how dealerships make their money. They, they pay you So kind of buy low, sell high. Well, that, that's the, the, the mentality of it. That's the business model of a dealership, to buy a vehicle for the best price you can and then sell it for as high as you possibly can that that's the traditional dealership model and it's been that way for over a hundred years now there's a couple dealerships that will pay their salespeople on no, no commission okay but there's still that gross profit still going to be there what they pay their sales so if they say no commission sales that just means they're not paying their salespeople commission but they're still gross profit that's the yeah. big that's the yeah. bread and butter that's how dealerships operate by maximizing the, the, the gross profit so so basically, the idea is at a regular dealership, they're going to come in, they're going to offer you the absolute lowest price that they think you'll take. Yes. Yeah. That, that's exactly how it works. So, and there's, believe it or not, and this is one part that I didn't like about dealerships. They literally, every, some dealerships every single day will go in and train. They'll have sales meetings on how word tracks, what to say, how to say it, how, how to lowball, you. how to come in and present a number to you in a fashion that you're going to sort of, you might be upset, but you're still going to accept the number. Really? So there, so what are those, some of those things to watch out for? Um, it's, it's just, well, it doesn't matter what they say, really just look at the numbers. You, right. You, you do your, so take research. the emotion out of it. Take, yeah. Take all the emotion out of it. Look at the numbers. If you, your vehicle, you go online and they're all selling for say twenty thousand dollars, and then you go to a dealer and they say, "Well, we we'll give you fourteen thousand dollars for it, but then we got to do this, we got to do that." All there's still six thousand dollars of that gross profit in there, so don't what they say doesn't matter. It's the number that they give you that's most important. Right. So really focus on 
the dollar amount and try to ignore everything else. Okay. Although you do have to take into consideration if your vehicle is beaten up and there's dings and dents right. and stuff. Or if it needs like yeah. a new tire or a new yeah, transition. Yeah, like, like, into consideration. Blah, blah, blah. So let's, let's say – so that's the traditional dealership. Yeah. What does the reverse dealer do that's different? Okay, so there, there is a big difference and the biggest difference is in the incentive. So a regular dealership, they're incentivized to buy low and sell high and we – our incentive is totally different. So how reverse dealer works, you bring your vehicle to us. We will take 20 pictures, do a professional video, and market your vehicle to the public for a fair retail price. And all we take once we do our job and sell your vehicle for you is take $1,000 off the price. So say that vehicle that was $20,000 that the dealership was going to sell for, but they offered you fourteen for. We'd put it on our site for twenty thousand, and then once it sells, we take off a thousand, and you'd end up with nineteen thousand dollars in your pocket. So, our incentive is the exact opposite of Check. the dealership. The incentive as a dealership is to buy low, sell high. Our incentive is to have the seller and the buyer agree on the price, and then when that happens, that's when we get paid. So our incentive is exactly what these things say. It's to have a win, 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 and we don't get paid unless the seller agrees to the buyer's price, and then they're. And then you just take happy. a flat fee. Flat fee. That's so it. and and so basically, you don't get paid yep. until that car sells. Until we don't get paid until the seller and the buyer are both come to an agreement on the price, and then we get paid. And the thing is, though, as if I'm selling my car, I don't have to talk to the people that are looking at buying and everything you no. guys are doing yeah, that we do for all me. that so ba you literally just drop your car off we do all the work and you clean it. it yeah we we clean it take the pictures uh do a professional video write the ad we put it across canada uh we answer the leads that come in right. and if you guys are trying to sell your vehicles on kijiji or any of those sites online yourself you i'm sure have dealt with the low ballers the people just giving ridiculous numbers trying to steal your vehicle um, at Basically, an unfair yeah, price. Yeah. So we, we handle all those people for you and, and we, we, we will answer them, but we will still obviously do everything we can but to I'm get you a fair price. Once I've given you my vehicle for consignment, basically yeah. is what it is, yeah. right? I'm hands off until I get my money. Yeah, it, that's, it's exactly it. You, you You'll give me updates on what's going yeah, on though, right? I'll give you updates. Um, you can call us anytime. We'll tell you how many leads we've had on it. Um, yeah, absolutely. We do that's all awesome. Yeah. So basically, uh, how long roughly does it take for a, a vehicle to go? Because I mean, if I price my car too yeah. high, it could stay there. You're yeah. going to give oh, me advice yeah. on that kind of we, stuff, yeah, right? Absolutely. We have an app that searches all the like for sale vehicles in our market right now. And then we make sure we're priced competitively because if we're not competitive, then it's just not going to sell. It's just going to sit on your lot. It's then. just going to sit there. Exactly. So by doing pricing competitively, it helps the buyer. So if you're a buyer looking for a vehicle, the vehicle is going to be at a fair price as well because the seller's happy to undercut the dealer to have their vehicle sold faster. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so we've got a couple of people on uh, Facebook Live. I know there's a little bit of a delay, but if you have any questions, pop them in that chat. We see a few people mentioning that uh, Chris might be a little bit quiet. I think we've oh. got that fixed. Is that better? Uh, Chris will be, that's even better, buddy. Uh, but if you've got another question, pop it in there. Otherwise, I think we're going to wrap her up for tonight. Um, yeah. Um, let's just go to one more, one more quick break here, and sure. then uh, if you've got any questions, we'll answer them right after the break. Sounds good. Welcome to Same Old Sam Standard Car Dealership. When it comes to buying and selling cars, Same Old Sam has a great business model. If you're Same Old Sam, that is. See, Sam swindles sellers when he buys their car at a low price. Same goes for clients who trade in their car. He then swiftly sells said car at a much higher price to a buyer, costing the buyer and the seller thousands of dollars in the process. It's lose, win, lose. Maybe it's time we shift gears when it comes to buying and selling cars. Time to put things in reverse. Reverse Dealer, that is. Reverse Dealer is an online auto dealership that gives buyers and sellers all the benefits of a traditional dealer without any of the downfalls. Here's how it works. Sellers bring in their car to get it cleaned and vacuumed. We take professional pictures, evaluate the car on the spot, compare pricing to similar vehicles, and write up a professional ad to be posted on our website, all for free. We also provide non-commissioned professionals to show and sell your car. And if you're not ready to sell your car yet, don't worry, you can still come in to see us. We store your car's info until you're ready to put it on the market. 
Instead of surfing tons of different websites, buyers can find everything they need at Reverse Dealer, including complete vehicle history, over 20 plus photos of the car, fair market prices, and we offer financing and extended warranty options. Reverse Dealer will even bring the car to the buyer for a test drive. Reverse Dealer doesn't make money by buying low and selling high like same old Sam. We simply charge a small one-time fee on each transaction, ensuring that buyers and sellers get a great deal. Unlike the lose-win-lose ways of same old Sam, Reverse Dealer offers a win-win win. And we just think it's better when everyone walks away happy. So let's stop giving away thousands of dollars to same old Sam. Let's change the way we buy and sell cars. Let's throw it into reverse. Reverse Dealer. To learn more, visit ReverseDealer.com. Hello. Hello, hello. We're back after the quick, quick break. Uh, we got a couple questions over here on uh, the Facebook. Kristen asks, uh, what is done to make sure that vehicles haven't been in an accident or have major mechanical issues? Chris? That is a very good question, actually. Because I don't want to buy something that's going to end up costing me more down no, the road, right? absolutely nobody does. And that's one, another big part of our business is being fully transparent. And what we do is every single vehicle on our, our lot comes with a car proof that shows the history. So that's any... A car proof explains if the vehicle's been in any accidents. And a car proof for someone who doesn't know is done by a third party. It's yeah. not done by you guys. So no, not at all. It's, it's, it's in your best interest to use this third party that's yeah. known for doing Rel these yeah, kind of absolutely. fact and, checks, yeah. basically. And they're, they're reliable. Insurance companies use them. And what they do is they... They're the standard. They are absolutely Everyone the standard. Everyone uses them. And yeah, it, it costs $55 per car proof per vehicle. And they're very thorough. They, they do police checks. They're linked up with the police. Um, all insurance companies, so they will tell you the vehicle's been in an accident, if there's been a hail claim, whether it's been stolen, um, whether it's oh, been written good. off. Even a hail will show up on that. Absolutely everything. Oh, wow. So you know the history. It gives you a history report of the, the actual vehicle. So that tells you the, the, the physical condition, but the mechanical condition is a totally different side of it. And for that, we use a third party as well. We use a third party uh, mechanic shop in town and... Those vehicles, each vehicle comes with something called a mechanical fitness assessment. And it's an extremely thorough inspection that will go through the vehicle top to bottom. And they'll go through the engine, like the, the driving components of the vehicle. That's where you talk about like those 64 point yeah, check inspection. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. It's exactly what they are. They go through the tires, they go through the brakes, they go through. Basically so, what happens if, if that mechanical part comes back and says, uh, you need new brake pads yeah so if it needs new brake pads and you're the seller of the vehicle um we will let you know um you should yeah that well it's that. optional that you can get that fixed or we ask that you reduce your price to reflect because the, the buyer you're yeah, going to tell the buyer absolutely the buyer's going to know there's, came yeah, back. There, there's no hiding anything right um everything's transparent and that's how we want it so it's up to the seller to get the stuff fixed if they want to but um the, and if they don't get it fixed then we just reduce the price accordingly so it's makes sense so that's so, awesome okay yeah. and then we've got another really good question from kurt spady over on the facebook yeah uh will you sell vehicles that don't run um to be honest i don't think we've ever even took a vehicle in that are you doesn't up for run. the challenge chris um <laughs> <laughs> i guess my question is it's who hard would, who I, would buy a vehicle that doesn't run it depends like we, we might like if if our if there's space on our lot and we're not like overflowing with vehicles, we, we could try doing it just to see. As long as it's a, a reason, like if it's a really nice old like I don't know classic car with so an engine in worth, it or something worth yeah. restoring or yeah something, something that's gonna make sense because we still have to take our fee off once it sells and it's a small flat fee. But if it's a thousand dollar beater car that doesn't run. And that's not going to make sense yeah, to anybody. you be better off so, donating yeah, that, I think. Uh, but uh, let's also talk about that. You're not just cars, trucks, no, SUVs. No. What else is on the lot? Okay, so right now we have yeah cars, trucks, SUVs. We have campers, so fifth wheels. We have RVs. And they, they range. The cheapest thing on our lot is, I believe, 2000 uh, Ford Focus. And then our most expensive vehicle is a $77,000 RV. So it's, it's everything in between and all... All the people on our lot, their vehicles, they just want a fair price, and, and that's that's what we're providing them. You're welcome, Kurt. Uh, if you guys have any more, more questions, we're going to about to wrap up here. I've got a few more things. We're going to head over to Periscope and grab some questions from there. Okay. But if you have any more questions on Facebook, hit them up. Hey, Ma, we've got a couple questions on, on Periscope. Um, how to so, get a bracelet. How to get a bracelet. One of these Ooh, beautiful things. It just came in two days ago. So on the, what they say is all we do is win, win, win. And so if you just saw that video, basically that just played, that means you win, 
the dealership wins, and the person buying your car wins. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So how do you get get a bracelet? Um, You know what? If you share, both for the people on Periscope or Facebook, all you'd have to do is share, like this, and let us know. Yeah, contact us, and we'll send you one of these. Fantastic. And if you're in the local Red Deer area, you can just come into our lot. So uh, that's we got something I wanted to mention. So if someone wanted to see what's on the lot, yeah. they can go to reversedealer.com. Yeah, reversedealer.com. Or where is the actual physical location? The physical location is in Red Deer. Um, it's on the north end of Red Deer in Child's Industrial Park. So uh, I, I've got, got an ignorant question here. Just Is it still technically in Red Deer? It's just within or is it just very outside? Tip, very, it's still Red Deer. It's still within Red Deer? It's like the furthest north of Red Deer you can go. So yeah. basically... I'm How does someone know that they've gone too far? Uh, when you drive past us, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, if, if someone just completely oblivious. Um, if you hit the train tracks, you've gone. Like, if you hit the train tracks, back. like the so the, the, the going over top. You yeah, know, that, you're going you underneath the set of train tracks. Turn around. Yeah, and then look on your left side. If you're leaving Red Deer, watch your right hand yes, side. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Do you have more questions from Periscope? Yeah. Who? That the car- question on Periscope is, is there apps out there that someone can use on their own for Carfax? I think there probably is, but well, you're going to have there to is. Pay. No, yeah, exactly. There's, there's car pro- well, Carproof and Carfax are two separate companies. Is one better than the other? Um, well, Carfax is bigger in the States, but now is actually starting to be just as effective in Canada. Um, so they're, in, if you're in Canada, I, I recommend Carproof. If you're in the States, I recommend Carfax. <laughs> Um, but the, the Carfax and Carproof is available for anybody. You can just go to their website, carfax.com or carproof.ca, and they will tell you the, uh, you can pull the exact same report. We, Who pays for the Carfax is what Doug's asking over on Periscope. Okay, so the, when you come, so if you were coming to look for a vehicle, we would already have the Carfax. It would be paid for. The, the buyer would absolutely not have to pay for the Carfax because we would already have paid for it, and you'd be able to see that, and we'd provide it to you free of charge. Million dollar question from Periscope. Chris, yeah. what motivates you? What motivates you? me like to, for reverse dealer? Uh, the number one thing is being the change that I want to see in the car industry. Like I said at the beginning, I've quit the car industry three three separate times. Three times. And the third time I told myself, instead of quitting and just complaining about it, I'm going to actually try to do something to totally change how cars are sold across the world. So that's what we're doing, and that's what motivates me. That's what keeps me going. And it's not easy. We don't make anywhere near what a regular dealer makes on a deal, but... So we have to sell a lot of volume. So we're doing everything we can just to get the word out there. So thanks for the question. So to wrap up, uh, if someone wants a bracelet, what did we say we're doing? Uh, You got to share the Facebook video, share the Periscope link, or swing by the dealership. Or swing by the dealership and then just contact us directly and then we'll get your info and then send you one. Mail them out to you. (laughs) These are limited edition, right? Because when they're yeah. done, they're done. Yeah, we You're going to be making another set of, of something well, else. it's going to be a different, yeah. They're yeah, you'll make another one, but they're not going to say win, win, win. They're yeah. not going to say they're going to yeah. be this green. Like, yeah, and then they're cool This too. is the single it, edition. You could use it for sports or whatever you want. So, so I Chris, I think as we wrap up today, uh, is there anything else that we want to let someone know? Any last questions coming in from Periscope? Um, uh, Facebook well, seems to be done. What? Well, this is going to be a weekly show. And this, the first one was basically about just introducing ourselves, getting a, a foundation set, uh, but we will start getting into way more detailed questions. If you have ever been in a dealership and say you're just sitting there while you're, you're working a deal and then all of a sudden the salesman leaves, goes, it talks to a manager. Or, or better yet, I've, I've seen them do it where they take you to the, the lounge. Yeah, and, and sit, you in the, sit you in the lounge. Yeah. If you're in the lounge and you've got questions. Yeah, just I can explain to you what is happening there. A lot of people are curious. You don't feel comfortable. If, if there's any time, even if you're at serv- in the service department, if you just feel 
that you've ever been uncomfortable in a dealership in any situation and people I've talked to, there's so many situations where that's happened. Um, just ask oh, the I question had one just a month ago, not even a month ago, man. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's had that situation. Yeah, absolutely. So every single week we're going to be doing a live show and there will be a topic on each show, but then at the end there will be a Q and a where you can ask absolutely anything. And I have 10 years experience, uh, from the bottom all the way up to the top. So I can hopefully answer it all your questions as truthfully and as honestly as I possibly can. And if, and if Chris can't answer your questions and you get them in midweek, we'll actually be bringing in experts yeah. who are on the topic of, you know, sports vehicles or, or anything that, yeah. as you can tell, Chris is the, the car guy. But we'll be bringing in experts <laughs> that if, if we can't answer the question, yeah. we'll be bringing someone in to answer yeah. the question for you. And we actually have, uh, we have a mechanic that will come on the show, a certified journeyman mechanic. Um, where if you have questions about your vehicle, obviously we don't want to just get very technical, like, do I need to change my brakes right now or something, but, um, just generic questions, uh, feel free. Uh, I'm not sure when he's going to be coming. It might not be next week. It could be the week after, but stay tuned. There's so much, so much information coming. Absolutely. So stay tuned. Chris. Uh, so next week, Thursday night, Thursday, 6 PM, every week, every week. Unless yeah. something changes, I don't think that's going to change. Yeah, all that, yeah that's So what. put it in your calendar right now for the next year of Thursdays. Yeah. Absolutely. Be here on, <laughs> on at least a year. Yeah. And then we might do Wednesdays. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's, Sounds good. That's all right. So I want to make sure we thank everyone over on Periscope for checking us out. Hey, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you over on Facebook for checking us out. Uh, this has been Reverse Dealer TV with... Chris Schellenberg. Yes, thank you guys. I'm Kyron Mountain, and uh, thank you guys so much for coming out today. Okay.